three best treatment options available. Unless you're a professional hockey or rugby player, missing teeth is not a great look. So why do one in three Americans have at least one missing tooth? And what replacement options are there? Hi, I'm Dr. Gerges with Definitive Dental, where we're known for dentistry done right. So you or a loved one is missing a tooth, or several. It's okay, you're not alone. In addition to the 33% of Americans missing a tooth, a quarter of those over 75 have no teeth. Studies have shown that people with teeth live longer. Knowing this, what matters is what you do next. Let's take an overview of the options and check out our other videos for more in-depth information on each. The first option, popular among many, is to do nothing. Usually people will do fine for a while, but over time, it always leads to other problems. Teeth around the space will lean and shift, making it common for one missing tooth to become multiple missing teeth. A missing tooth leads to chewing on the other side, causing accelerated wear and tear. If that weren't enough, missing teeth can change the profile of your face and make you look older, shrinking your face and giving the appearance of frown lines at the corners of your mouth. This bone loss as well as the teeth tipping makes replacing teeth later much more difficult. So we've explained why leaving it empty is a bad idea. What are the other options? Well, it all depends on how many teeth need to be replaced. Dental implants are the gold standard for replacing missing teeth. They are the closest thing to natural teeth and they don't affect the surrounding teeth. Implants may be slightly more expensive in the short term, but much cheaper in the long term as they should last for life without needing to be replaced. We'll take a 3D x-ray in the office to evaluate the height, width, and even the density of your jaw to make sure you are a candidate for dental implants. A bridge is another option that's fixed in place, but it does require adjacent teeth for support. It's basically three or more dental crowns fused together with a false tooth or teeth in the middle. This is the best solution if you're not a candidate for implants. They are more difficult to care for, however. You'll need a special type of floss to clean underneath the bridge. And like any other crowns, have a clinical life of five to 10 or more years before needing to be replaced. Longer with great home care and routine checkups. The other options are removable. While the idea of something that comes in and out is not for everyone, partial dentures do have a couple of big advantages. This is the least expensive option and a great option if you're missing teeth on both sides of your mouth. Partial dentures typically have a metal frame and clasps for strength, but can also be made of a flexible plastic. I recommend using a metal frame as they can be tightened or loosened, and more teeth can easily be added if you lose another, without having to remake the whole thing. They do require more maintenance to keep clean and need to be relined every one to three years for the best fit. They also need to be tightened periodically if they start to loosen, just be careful not to lose it or accidentally throw them away. Finally, if you're missing all of your teeth in an arch, a complete denture will allow you to eat and smile. Most people do well with a complete upper denture, but a complete lower will take some getting used to. This is when I recommend an implant retained denture. When you add implants, you gain a lot of stability, and in some cases, don't ever need to remove the denture. We help evaluate which option is best for you. Don't be shy or embarrassed by missing teeth anymore. Let us take your smile to new heights. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to follow us on social.